Hey guys, welcome to the show. Now, we are gonna be looking in this episode at the best credit cards for military members. A lot of people have requested this. I didn't know that much about it, having never been in the military myself, so I have a very special guest on the show today, and that is none other than Jake Bro. Welcome to the show, man. Hey, Credit Chifu. It's a huge honor to be on your show. I've been following you for years, so I'm happy to be happy to be here to talk about military credit cards. That's awesome, man. And um, before we start, what uh, branch of the military are you in? It's the Air Force, right? Or Correct. Currently, I'm a captain serving on active duty in the Air Force. I'm stationed at Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota. Nice. And what do you do? What's your like role? I'm a nuclear and missile operations officer. Wow. Uh, the nickname we're called are missileers. So I'm in charge of the maintenance operations and securities for the land leg of the nuclear triad, the Minuteman III Intercontinental Ballistic Missile System. Wow, that's crazy. Don't tell me too much. I don't want the feds <laughs> to show up on my house. Can, though, can you confirm, is the Stargate really under Cheyenne Mountain? Uh, no comment. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Okay, uh, let's actually get into the video. So um, there are kind of a few parts to this. So first of all, um, I know a lot of the viewers will have heard of something for the, called the SCRA uh, benefits for military members, and that is uh, credit cards waiving annual fees and giving lower interest rates to uh, military members. So first, could you just uh, explain a little bit about that and then talk about which banks uh, will actually waive the annual fees uh, for their credit cards? So there's actually two pieces of legislation that banks reference when uh, offering these benefits to people serving on active duty. It's the Service Member Civil Relief Act, which some form of that bill actually goes all the way back to the Civil War. So it's been around for a long time. And the purpose is to financially help people serving uh, potentially overseas. You know, back in World War I, World War II, uh, you didn't want to have your home or farm foreclosed on while you were fighting on the Western Front. So Congress has always had pieces of legislation to protect people serving in the military so that, you know, special accommodations can be made where they can pay their bills. The more recent legislation is the Military Lending Act, which only goes back to, I think, 2006, 2007, 2008. And that bill was meant to address more egregious forms of predatory lending, like car title loans, payday loans, you know, uh, something where if you actually calculate the APR, it's something insane, like 4,000% annually. Don't ever do, you know, payday lender oh, loans. Payday loans. So okay. when that legislation was passed, there were certain banks that just interpreted the law, the MLA, uh, to say that they couldn't charge high annual fees on credit cards to people serving on active duty. This doesn't apply to the Guard, it doesn't apply to reserves, doesn't apply to veterans, it's just people serving on active duty. There are, I believe, five banks uh, that interpret it this way. Chase and Amex are the big ones that have cards with high annual fees. Uh, City waives the annual fee on the City Prestige, not their partner cards like the American Airlines card. And then uh, the other one is U.S. Bank, uh, so the Altitude Reserve, and uh, the more niche card, the, uh, the Korean Air card. Uh, the fifth one is Capital One, but I think Capital One only has one card with an annual fee. It's like $95, so those okay. are, those are the, the five ones that people know where they definitely do waive the annual fees. Does City waive the fee on the City Premier as well? Or just the prestige? I believe so, yes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so it's a really great opportunity uh, that you can pick up some cards that are literally like $500, $700 a year, like the Amex Platinum, and get it for no annual fee, right? Uh, well, the Amex Platinum, I think, is like $695 now, $695. and I actually have three of them. I have the, the, the vanilla, the Morgan Stanley, and the Charles Schwab version. Wow, so you're getting a huge amount of value. Do you know how much value you get out of that each year? Do you calculate it? Uh, I currently have 18 credit cards and okay. 12 of them have annual fees. Uh, I, I wrote this down, but They're the waived. annual fees total $5,475 oh. and I'm not paying any of that, yeah. Wow, and what about the credits? Like for example, the three Amex Platinums, what, what credits are you able to use to Get. Well, I, I got I to gotta use a, a $55 a month Uber Eats credits. I get uh, the $10 uh, um, uh, dining credits every month from the Amex Gold. Oh, so, everything, uh, yeah, so everything's tripled, isn't it, right? 
Yeah, everything, everything. I mean, I've got the $600 worth of hotel credits now that I need to use wow. before the end of the year for the three Platinums. Uh, Make sure I, I you use... stay two nights in a row. It's gotta be two nights or you don't get the credit. <laughs> I learned the hard way. Yeah, I, it, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you book through the fine hotels and resorts, gotta be two nights or the credit doesn't post. I did not know that. You're yeah, teaching yeah. me something just here, Credit Shifu. <laughs> Because I went to the W Hotel in DC and I booked one night and I didn't get the credit. And then the next morning when I was eating breakfast, I was like, you know what, I want to stay another night. And I booked another night, but because it was a separate booking, I still didn't get the credit. So I really... Uh, <laughs> really wow. No, yeah. that was, that's a good save. I wasn't tracking that. Yeah, yeah. So just make sure. Um, so yeah, what, um, what, do, so what do military people have to do to prove though to the card companies that they are on active duty? Do they need to show some documentation or what do they need to do? Actually, no, it should be automatic. The Department of Defense keeps a database of everybody currently serving on active duty. And that is a list that the banks can access at any time to apply SCRA or MLA protections. Uh, I've never had to show any documentation that when I give my social security number, the banks already know. Now, potentially there are service members who have applied for a card and then it wasn't waived. Uh, potentially there was a clerical error and they're just not showing up in that database. If you just went to basic training and you just joined, maybe give it a couple months for the system basically to update uh, and then you should be showing up. Okay, cool. Uh, and so yeah, basically it's automatic. But if you do have a problem, you can call and uh, they'll tell you what to do, basically. Correct. Nice. And now you talk to me about five credit cards that are kind of like must-haves for military members. So let's now start the second part of the video, which is we're going to go through this system of your five top credit cards. And you're going to tell us a little bit about each one and why you picked it. Well, when we, when we talk about top credit cards, we could just go for the most expensive ones. But most people that I know and talk to in the military, they're not like me. They don't want 18 credit cards. They want basically like a five card setup. So when people ask for my opinion, this is what I like to tell them. The number one card that I recommend to service members, assuming they have a credit score that qualifies them, I recommend the Chase Sapphire Reserve gives you 3x on dining, 3x on travel, no foreign transaction fees, excellent travel protections, and you get that $300 travel credit, which is super broad. You know, if you just got that one card, $300 can get you a nice weekend somewhere, uh, you know, for, for a, a nice getaway with your family potentially. There's other perks like the $60 DoorDash credit, but uh, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, in my opinion, is a must have. Okay. Cool, yeah, I actually just downgraded that one recently because uh, I didn't want to, you know, I switched the Amex Platinum and I didn't want the two annual fees, but I think if I was in the military, I definitely would have kept both because I wouldn't be paying an annual fee. Exactly. Yeah. All right. The second card yeah. I recommend, if, I, if we're ready here, is yeah, ready. the American Express Platinum card. Okay. Uh, I recommend people the Charles Schwab version for that 1.1 cash out rate, but I know some people just don't want to mess around with getting a brokerage account that they don't really want. So you can go with the vanilla, but you know you, you, you can watch the videos about the Amex Platinum card. It's a beast. Yeah. All of those credits, uh, you're not paying the 695 annual fee, so there's no pressure to use them, but if you want the $100 SACS credit, the $200 Uber credit, we talked about the hotel credit, the airline credits, uh, what are the other ones? I think the biggest benefit is the lounge network yes. access where you can get uh, the Delta lounges when flying with Delta in addition to priority pass. I know the CSR also gives you that, but the Amex uh, Platinum lounge collection is just a little bit broader. Yeah, and the Centurion lounges, obviously. That's yeah. correct, I forgot, yeah. And that, there's a great sign up bonus on that. Well, the public offer is I think 100,000, but if you get the Resi offer, you go to Resi's website and you search for exclusive offers for uh, Amex members, there's actually 125,000 and I think it's 15 points per dollar on $25,000 worth of spending at uh, US restaurants and shops, uh, worldwide restaurants and shops more in the US. So you can get a bit of extra uh, value out of the sign up bonus as well if you go through uh, Resi, which is uh, Amex's uh, a website that Amex owns for restaurant reservations. Um, let's go to the next one. What's your number three? The number three I recommend, uh, since you're already in the Amex system, is to get the Amex Gold Card. Normally a 250 annual fee, but it's weighed for military. It's basically just a free meal every month. You got the $120 Uber credit that you can use with Uber Eats if you never use Uber. 
and you got the $120 dining credit. Earns you 4X on groceries, 4X on dining. Uh, it's a no brainer. And, and since up. you've got the platinum and the gold, that's if you have both of them, that's $25 Uber cash a month. So that's easily Uber Eats for two people, like a lunch for two people. I, I every, at the beginning of every month, I'm always like, Uber <laughs> Eats time, tacos delivered to my house. So yeah. Yep, uh, I check my Uber wallet the first of every month and it just makes me smile every time. Yeah, man, totally, <laughs> totally, it's awesome. Um, yeah, so that's a great combo. And obviously the gold earns really good rate, four points per dollar on supermarkets. Do commissaries count as that yes. on the base? Uh, I, I mean, potentially there could be some weird commissaries that aren't coded correctly, okay. but here on Minot Air Force Base, uh, the commissary does trigger the 4X. Oh, uh, okay, so you can vouch. His commissary counts. You might want to test it with your own one to see how it codes, but in theory, yeah, definitely test it. I, I, I've heard of some commissaries for some reason not, not triggering. Okay, cool. All right, so what number is that? That was number three, right? So I think let's, uh, Correct. what's our number four? Now, of course, you can go crazy accumulating all the annual fee credit cards that you can get, but number four is actually a no annual fee card that I recommend to everybody in the military, and that is the USAA Cashback Rewards Plus. Uh, USAA's line of credit cards are only available to military members and their families, but this is a no annual fee that earns you 5% cash back on all gas station purchases. And it's not just gas stations on base, it's any gas station. So if you want to get 5% cash back for the rest of your life on a no annual fee card, uh, this is a fantastic card that everybody in the military should have. Oh, so this, even after you've left the military, you're still mm -hmm. gonna be getting the five, you know, you still keep the card open because you're a veteran. It, yep, it's the best gas card you can wow. get uh, from any bank, but once again, USA is not as uh, welcoming maybe as Navy Federal when people apply for their cards. Okay, because USA, you have to actually be in the military or a family member. Whereas military some, or family member, okay. and they, they, do, they, do, they do verify. Because some <laughs> of the other ones, you can actually just join some like, uh, Navy Federal, uh, yeah. Navy Federal, if you're just roommates with somebody in the military or you're roommates with somebody in, with Navy Federal, they'll let you in. I see. Yeah, I've seen other ones. Maybe it's that one or PenFed where you can just join some organization that like supports veterans and you can- Yeah, if you make a charitable donation to a veteran organization, you can become a PenFed member. I see, okay. But yeah, gas card, I mean, to get 5% on gas is great. I remember the, um, I think it was the NRA card that used to get 5% on gas, and then that card was discontinued and then everyone went to the Ducks Unlimited card. The Ducks Unlimited card, basically the yeah. Basically same without the NRA branding. Uh, and then that was ruined now. Um, yeah. So I guess this is probably the best. Uh, I think there's one other card that still does 5%. Is it the Sam's Club card? I seem to remember it's the Sam's Club card. I don't know, I might have to think about that. We'll put it on screen. <laughs> anyway. I know people talk about the Costco card, which is 4% uh, if you're a Costco member. So once once I get my Costco membership back, you know, that's 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 a good card to have for I'm people gonna look if it they're up not in the military. I'm curious. Yes, uh, Sam's Club credit card up to 5% 5, 5 back on gas, uh, up to $6,000 a year and then 1%. So Interesting. But this one is unlimited and you don't have to join Sam's Club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to join the military instead, so which is, I would say that's more of a commitment than the Sam's Club, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, that was number four, so let's go on to our number five. Number five is just a card that everyone should have, and that's the catch-all. The no annual fee, 2% cash back on all purchases. You have lots of great options these days between the City Double Cash, the Wells Fargo, what's it called, the Active Cash, or the PayPal MasterCard. Those are the three that I recommend for all your non-category spends. Your other cards get you covered for gas, dining, groceries, and travel. Uh, your no annual fee 2% card can get you for the catch-all uh, all other spend. Okay, so this one isn't specifically that you have to be in the military to get it or anything, but... No, just when I recommend people yeah. a five card setup, everybody should have one of these cards. Yeah, so this is the non-category spend card, 2%. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah, um, I actually don't, believe it or not, I actually don't have a non-category spend card. I do not have it. Because you're constantly going for those sign-up bonuses. Yep. I'm, I don't really use my city double cash a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going for sign-up bonuses and I also do a lot of category spend on like the Chase Freedom. I have three, three Chase Freedoms now. Um, so I get $4,500 worth of spending every quarter to get 5% back on or five points per dollar back. Wow. So <laughs> yeah, the non-category spend, I don't have that much of it. So it's just sort of like I 
kind of didn't didn't bother. All right, so that is our five card setup for military members. Um, thanks so much, man, for coming on the show, and I hope you guys have found that uh, you know helpful. Uh, definitely go and check out uh, Jake's channel on YouTube. Do you want to just give a little plug to your channel? Tell people what you cover on there and stuff. Yep, I definitely also talk about credit cards when I feel like there's a, a fantastic card that's come out recently. But these days, primarily, I've been talking about personal finance, stock market investing, and I like to make videos about taxes. Uh, they don't really get a lot of views, but it's just one of those things that can save you a lot of money if you're willing to put in the time and effort. Cool, man. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show. And everyone, check out Jake's channel on YouTube. Go over there and subscribe. And we have a little extra bonus clip on our Patreon, guys, if you want to check that out, where Jake talks about using Hilton free nights at the Waldorf Astoria. Uh, it's available to everyone in the Credit Warrior tier and higher. We'll put a link to Patreon in the description and on screen in just a moment. If you're in the military, you also get a 20% discount on Credit Shifu wallets. You got to DM me on Instagram, though, to have the code, okay? Um, thanks again, man, for coming on the show. We'll see you thanks next time. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye.